What was the genesis of it? Like, what was the, the quick sort of bullet points for why you started it? Um, well, we, we started when um, uh, just a realization that, that there weren't awards for craft and documentary. I mean, most of the awards were for issues, you know, like best story about women in war zones. You know, I mean, it was the it was the kinds of things that were uh, valid, but not valid, but not like. It wasn't really about the things we were seeing when we were yeah. out on, on like the festival circuit, which is like people recognizing that it's an art form, that there's craft involved, and that we're working with a team of people, cinematographers, editors, graphic designers, composers, producers, um, and no one had ever had an award for those different crafts before, and it was a nice way to um, do something very different that was different than what existed currently, and I think that that's sort of why cinema is in, has become very important to people is that it's not just um, another award, it's a place where you can go with your team at the end of the year and it's celebrating really all the all the different skills it takes to create these movies. And in fact, like the actual practice of documentary, right? It's, it's a community, it's a community practice both with the film itself and then also we interact with each other a lot. We, we have this world of exchange that's a cinematic exchange and I'm not just talking about friendship, I'm talking literally about art form. Like you see someone's majestic film, like any of our nominees, move us, they change the vocabulary of cinema, and we felt like we weren't seeing a representative list that really, truly showed us, like, oh, this is this is where we're going, or this is where we are. I noticed that the, the, very, the very first awards, you were embraced by the documentary community. How, is you, how have you seen that, that love and that em, embracing expand in the last six years, from both documentary community and the filmmaking community at large? I just think it, it, it's grown... Yeah, I mean, I think I think it, it has a it has a lot of different functions, right? Like, there's very few times in the year where we can come together and just celebrate the year, yeah. right? Like, you're at a festival, you're selling your film, you've got a lot of different things on your mind. It's maybe the first time you've shown it, the eighth time someone else has shown their film, and here it's the end of a year, and we come together in New York to have a moment to say, "This is our year," and. You know, these crazy things happen, like, um, in the year that uh, Ross McElwee got the, you know, the um, Legacy, Legacy Award, Award yeah. you know, Barbara Koppel did the, the introduction, and she's like, we've never met, right? And we're like, holy yeah. moly, like... How could you never met one? Yeah, That's but, crazy. But Cinema Eye is a way, is also this way to bring generations together, or even people from the same like, world that we would think would know each other, but don't. Right. And have you... Uh, is this is your first time at AFI Fest? Yes. Is there, why did, did did you just sort of pick it out of a hat, or are you going to move it around from year to year? Um, you know why? No, I mean we. You know, there's a lot of great reasons to like you know do things in Los Angeles. Um, in addition to it being my hometown, it's it's great. <laughs> it's great to to engage. What is what I, I call like the secret documentary community right. in Los Angeles? Right. You know, it's like we don't always get together in the way that people in New York or San Francisco do. But there's a lot of amazing documentary filmmakers who live and work here in Los Angeles, um, and it's a great opportunity to acknowledge those folks. And a lot of them are, are previous and current nominees, yeah. and uh, and and to be able to start doing things here in, in Los Angeles and expand, you know, where Cinema has. Um, some of its functions and activities and, and ways in which we can engage like a larger piece of the documentary community. Which leads me to my final question. Yes. Uh, what, what do, you, do you have visions for the future, expanding, changing some new initiatives you might be doing? We change every year. It's uh, a, no, I'm serious. Like Even this year we change. I mean, we look at this every year and say, how can this be better? How can this better reflect the, the amazing work we're seeing? How can it better reflect the passions and the interests? And also, how do we make this feel like when the list comes out people can say that represents something that I see and I believe in right and I think we see a lot of awards programs where people see the list and they're like eh, what that's it and I think we've but we don't rest there you got to keep hitting it and AJ is amazing at it like he'll call me up and be like I've got this, this crazy idea and at first I was like oh and then I'm always like no way it's awesome yeah, I think I know. I think we're just, you know, we're trying to rethink things every year and think how can we do things differently? How can we like? Um, uh, to, to us, I always feel like that cinema and it, our various activities that are sort of outside of our own filmmaking and sometimes our, our filmmaking as well. For us, it's like a constant wrestling with the documentary form. And so every year we approach cinema, it's like how can we wrestle different? Yeah. You know, how do we approach this thing from a different angle? Um, and that's and that's really what it's about is to constantly think about you know who do we want to be this year where do we want to go and um, 
And you know, if we can, if we continue to get the kind of support that we've gotten from the community, I think Cinemai will continue to grow into being an organization where we can not only give awards to these films, but also help these films be seen by more and more people.